So hello again. In this video, I'm going to go back to a video that we created a couple of weeks ago. It was made by Howard, actually. He talked about dodging and burning. He did these fantastic animal pictures. Um, there's a link to that video just up here, actually, so you can go back and have a look at it and remind yourself of, uh, of how to create those, those animal images that are so, so stunning they are. But in that video, how did two things I want to address in, in this video. First of all, uh, he did some dodging and burning. And I'd like to just go back to dodging and burning and just look at a different way that's non-destructive of how to do dodging and burning. But before we get into that, the second thing I want to talk about is this. So Howard said that this unit, this Pacemaker 300, was used on the James Bond set of Octopussy. And I put a little pole in the corner to see if you thought that was correct or not. Well, actually, 75% of you thought it was absolutely accurate and true. 25% of you said it was a right load of tosh, and it was a right load of tosh. This was nowhere near the set of Octopussy in its entire life. It was Moonraker. Right, let's get back on to, um, to this dodging and burning. Let's look at the screen now. We've got a picture here of, um, of a boat I took a little while ago. Oh, there's my uh, fuel bill coming in. Um, so we, we've got a boat here that I took uh, down at Mel's on the Wirral um, a, a, a couple of years ago now, I think. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice enough picture. It's, 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 it's okay. And I just want to look at how we might dodge and burn this and just bring some highlights in and just push some, some things back into the, into the darker regions of the picture. So first of all, we can use the standard dodging and burning tools as Howard did. Um, and, and, and you can see all that in his video. They are quite destructive. They are, they are going to change your image forever. You will never recover from, um, from those, from those uh, techniques, which is, you know, it's fine. That, uh, that's the way a lot of people do it. Prefer, personally, I tend to make a few more mistakes. I do tend to um, yeah, change my mind every now and again. I want to make things lighter or darker again. So this is a non-destructive way that was actually shown to me by um, Adrian Lyons, believe it or not. So first of all, the first thing we're going to do is going to create a new layer. Um, there we go, there's a new layer on the top, and we're going to make that an overlay layer. And we're going to reduce its opacity to about 50%. It doesn't need to be exact, but about 50%. Okay, so there we go, we've got a nice new layer. Opacity, 50%, sat on top of um, our layer. Obviously, there's nothing on that layer, um, so we can see straight through it. Now I'm going to use a brush. So I'm going to hit B for brush. That's the same on Windows and Mac, or you can use the, the little brush logo over here. And we're going to want a black and a white. So if you've got colours in there, um, just hit the little um, picture there to go back to black and white. And at the top, where we have here the mode and the opacity, I'm going to drop the opacity down. It's already around about there. And once again, to about 40, 50%. I'm going to put the flow around about the same place. Now what this is going to do, this is going to, if we, if we draw something in black, let's just show you what that would look like if these were two both at 100%. And let's draw a black line. So let's do any old thing across there. See, we instantly we, we do get that something quite dark. We can see it straight away. Um, and that's because the, uh, the opacity of this layer is at 50%. If I push that up to 100%, you can see that much darker straight away. So let's leave that back at where it was at 50%. Let's get rid of this. Let's go control. There we go. So let's just drop this flow. And that means you can build a little bit with the flow. If you put your flow to about 50%, maybe a bit less, um, 30, 40%, then you can you can build, you can go over to over stuff a few times, it gets a little bit deeper. If you put the opacity of the brush down once again to maybe about maybe about 30, 30%, 35%. And, uh, and then we're going to select a brush that's, that's quite soft. Um, that's quite a nice soft brush. And there we go. So, really simply this, 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 this doesn't get any easier. So if we take this cloud here, let's say for example, we thought this cloud was, would benefit uh, from being just a touch lighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip and use my white brush. You can do that with the X, by the way, if you press X. It just flips between the two the two colours you've got there. Um, let's make the the brush a bit bigger. And as I go over the cloud, this is not good at all. But there you go. You, you can oh, I've got the guide in there. Get rid of that guide. And you can see straight away that you know you would never do this. This is just a massive example. <laughs> That's bloody awful. Um, then you can see straight away we've we've uh, we've lifted that right up. So let's get rid of that because. Um, 
Let's just go back to the start. Where were we? About there. Um, thank you very much, history tool. Right, okay, so they, this is way, way, way too much. Why has it done that? Oh, because I've got my opacity on 100, that's why. So let's drop these down again. Uh, I don't know how I did that, but I managed to put that opacity back onto 100. Right, so let's take lighten. We're gonna lighten this boat, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. We're gonna do command or control if you're on a Windows computer and plus. And just run underneath this boat, we're gonna make it a bit bigger. So I've got a nice soft brush and I'm just gonna stroke in that area. Now you, you, you can't arguably see a lot going on here, which is fine. Um, you will see it in a minute. They, they do say, I mean, Howard's example was, was quite graphic in terms of he wanted to make things really dark really quite quickly so you could see that happening. Um, but they do say that if you can see the brush on your first stroke, then you're putting too much on. If I just go back down to the layer and turn it off, you can see actually that it has made quite a change, although you couldn't necessarily see that as the uh, as the brush was going on, that's because we've got it on quite a low opacity and quite um, quite a high, quite a low flow. Let's take somewhere where we want to make it darker. I think maybe this whole, um, if I just zoom out a touch, maybe this whole area across, I think if I made that a bit darker, I might pull out a little bit, some a little bit more of those colors. So if I go to, just press X, changes me to a black over there. You can obviously do that by clicking, uh, clicking the black, uh, the black uh, icon. If I just give myself a nice large brush, I'm actually going to drop my opacity down a little bit more. Um, and let's see what now as I just push across that whole back area there. I've just got my finger on the button. I am going backwards and forwards across it. You can see it starting to change. Just darkening that area down. But it, I'm going across it. I have, got, I have got my... But you can't really see it changing. Now, you can't see it changing. But let's go, let's go to that layer now. Turn it off. It's quite a change there. You can really see it. I've also done something quite strange up here as well, um, but that's not an issue. Of course, if you leave it, turn the other way off, um, you can actually see in the background things going on in here. So you can see the white area there. And you can, if you really wanted to, you just go and delete it. You can just get your, your, your little um, eraser and uh, oh didn't do that that was a healing brush showing not any, not your erasing brush oh I do get I do get lost where my, my little eraser never use the eraser um, but it is there somewhere isn't it um, oh, where's the eraser where's my eraser gone there it is the eraser tool it's up in a moment then you can just delete delete that out and then if you go back to uh, Turn the other layer on, you can see that that area has returned to normal. So if you if you use that tool, let's go back to our brush tool because we're in this uh, this, this this layer. Let's push that opacity up to about thirty five percent, so we can really see the difference it's going to make. And once again, we're going dark because we're on black, and we're just going. You can see it check, making a change now as we go across. We're pushing that that darkness into into that image, and we turn it off. Turn that layer off. Yeah, we can really see we've, we've pushed that, um, you know, that, we just dodged that whole back area. It's a great little tool and you can, you can really go if you, oh, do you want to do that? I just want to go back onto the white. Um, if you wanted to really pick out some details, let's, let's get a small brush down there and let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go onto this boat. And let's, let's start, we've got a nice line here um, that runs just down the length of the boat. So let's go nice and small. And let's pick out that line as we go. Just draw a line across that line. This is where we want to highlight this a couple of times. Once again, if we just turn it off, we can see it straight away. We're just picking out that line. Um, it's just a really nice, easy tool. So if we've got another area, let's say, uh, oh, what else might I want to play with? Let's get let's get crazy. Let's let's. Let's give you a little demonstration right up here in the top corner. Um, so we've got our white on. Let's go for a nice bigger, a bit of a bigger. Um, so we could put a, we can put a shape in there like that. And you can see it's just making that area lighter. I press X, do a shape in there, and it makes it darker. So you can see quite instantly, you know, quite graphically what, what's happening. Um, and of course, uh, as I said a few moments ago, we can actually go and delete that. Um, using our eraser tool, and I always struggle to find our eraser. That's spot healing. Where's the eraser tool? Yeah, I've lost it again. There it is. You can just go and delete it. 
should you wish, uh, at some point. Um, so, it's as simple as that. And, and very quickly and very easily, you can, you can dodge and burn an image. Um, and the great thing about it, doing it this way is it is completely non-destructive. If you make a mistake and you decide a bit later on that you don't want to, that you don't want to, you don't want to do it that way, or you, you don't want to dodge that area, you want to change your mind, you can you can either turn the layer off or you can just go and um, and delete the uh, the ink, the the the, 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 the marks from the brush that you're putting onto that layer. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It's really simple, really quite short actually, and um, it, it's really another technique for, uh, for dodging and burning. There are thousands of techniques for dodging and burning out there. Everybody's got their own way of doing it. This is how I do it. And as I say, it's not my, it's, I didn't invent this way of doing it. I was actually shown this by uh, a chap called Adrian Lyons, who most of you will, uh, will, will may know. Um, so thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.